I'm going to university soon and I need an affordable laptop that can do it all from Netflix to Word to gaming wow looking dashing and I have found it with the HP Envy 360 15 inch display which runs on AMD Radeon graphics which means the screen is super vivid it's super clear and overall it's just beautiful and at 700 pound it's already a still let alone the other specs but of course with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and a massive screen size there is obviously going to be some battery life constraints so this device has nine hours for normal casual streaming 11 hours for watching netflix and watching other types of videos and a measly five hours for video editing and gaming on the plus side it does charge with usb-c meaning in under two Two hours it will be our hundred percent which is nice and while we were talking about gaming it can play most light games on this system like Minecraft and Fortnite however it does get hot and no matter what game you play you will feel a little bit of heat irradiating from it this system is a chunky boy actually no that's an understatement it's heavy with the three extra Y and although weight's not really a major issue with laptops because it tends to just go to one place stay there open up and then go to another place this laptop folds meaning that it's going to be in one hand and i'm going to open it and i'm going to scroll through that's the main use of the laptop when it's in folded mode however when it has such a weight to it it's just uncomfortable for it to be folded i want it on a desk when i fold it especially when i'm reading webtoon and my veins just start popping like literally it's popping now but me personally rather than ever using it in folded mode i just use my tablet it's just an inconvenience and i appreciate the option to have this feature but it's not for me and unless you're the strongest man or woman in the world you won't be able to consistently use this for an extended period of time but to be fair it is built of premium aluminium meaning that it feels so good but it contributes to the weight a lot like it feels so good we looking at and speaking of things on the outside it has more ports than any laptop that was released in the last three years with two normal usb ports two usb c ports one hdmi port one full sd card reader as well as one headphone jack yes you heard me right a headphone jack in 2023 and i'm super happy that they brought all of this on this system because at one point or another i've used every single one of them on laptops a major thing you do is watch vids and volume is an important factor in this And as you can hear, overall, the volume's just a bit sad. It's no better than an iPhone 12, for example. And it's kind of funny because it was like they were bragging about the speaker quality and the speaker quality is just not great. This is actually the camera quality. Surprisingly, it's really, really good. And the mic can even pick up pretty clear audio as well. So I am quite impressed. As you can see, the video quality is really good. And if you ever have video conferences or Zoom calls, you'll never have an issue with quality, even in dark environments. This is the camera quality in low line. As you can see, I can see much more pixels now, but overall it's still pretty decent and it is actually still usable. And yes, you can even take pictures with this system. And they all turned out really well. Maybe because the laptop has amazing quality or because my face is just really, really photogenic. And let's say you don't have any use for the camera and you want to keep your privacy. There's a button for that. Mic test one, two, three. This is me just testing the mic from far away. And this is me super close. Overall, it picks up the audio pretty well. I'm very happy with it. And in any conference calls or Zoom calls, you will be able to hear it pretty clearly. And there's also a button to mute the mic as well. Overall, traversing to app to app is very smooth and the response time is extremely fast while using the generously given trackpad of 12.5 by eight centimeters and as well as this amazing trackpad it also feels good because of its 12 gigabytes ram as well as using a ryzen 7 
processor 5000 series so it's really really good and this processor even makes using the touch screen extremely fast and extremely easy to use unfortunately i can never fully utilize it because i'm not a proper artist the only thing that annoyed me over the months of having this laptop is the fans sometimes i'd be in the library just relaxing on google or something then the fans will decide to go on full blast out of nowhere me personally i think it's just a little bit random and just a little bit annoying when everyone looks at your laptop like what are you doing but overall it's just a small issue and everything else is perfectly fine so i'm very happy of this system but now the age-old question should i take this to university 100 percent yes it's got easy access because of face id it can run games run word document with the ryzen 7 processor i'm able to do all i need to do and more on a system that has an amazing quality screen it looks good it feels good and even has a pretty decent weight to it some may say it's a little bit too heavy but it's all right but if you're still on the fence on this laptop i'm going to see another 360 degree laptop check out this video right here it's been your boy mr k and yeah see you in the next one bye